play a couple of moments here to see uh, see if everyone comes in here and see how many we actually get. Yes, I'm in cozy clothes today. We're going to be doing a uh, little bit of a cozy stream. Sorry, but well, I'm going to take a second here to try Let's to see. Play if a couple of moments here to see uh, possible see. camera possible there. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Let's go ahead and just do this real quickly here. You don't need to hear me. Well, I don't need to hear myself, I should say. Okay. So, I hope everyone's having a good week so far. We're going to be doing something pretty awesome today. We are going to be building the Moyo Store Steampunk Bull. This thing is... Uh, Pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna be doing this again a little bit live. I'm also gonna be doing a video on it a little bit later as well, once we have everything kind of built. But I thought this would be kind of a cool way for us to hang out a little bit more. So, um, again, uh, this guy here is going to be pretty different than what we typically build in here on the channel. Uh, we normally focus on 3D metal models. For those who are unfamiliar, uh, here's a uh, really cool Millennium Falcon that I built in the past. Um, these metal models are usually put together uh, with sheet metal. These guys that we're building here today are made out of hardware, uh, which is very unique, and their looks are very cool too. Um, but again, the way they go together is very different than the way we're used to. So um, what I'm going to do here is a few different things. Um, you're going to see me just perform the uh, first little bit of the show here, where I typically open the uh, box on camera, take a little sip of uh, coffee here, Again, I hope everyone's having a good night so far. I am working on this whole live stream thing. I'm trying to do better with it. Uh, I'm going to get a mount, I think, a little bit later to try to make this a little bit more uh, steady. I also want to get a uh, little bit of a, my road mic uh, set up somehow with this. But with the new iPhone, not having any kind of, uh, oops, not having any kind of... Um, uh, microphone jack it makes it a little bit difficult you know dongle life anyway here we go so we have right here the machine planet steampunk bull all righty let's do this so first we need to put our gloves on i get asked this all the time why do you put gloves on the real reason why i put gloves on is for one reason and one reason only i work in construction and because of that my hands can get beat up every once in a while, and uh, to keep things consistent on camera, uh, oftentimes I build these, as you will see today, I build these models over several days sometimes, um, up until the weekend, and uh, then try to get that video up before the weekend's over. Um, so, doing all that, um, lost my train of thought there, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, welcome to ADHD Life here, too. All right, let's focus this up. And... Uh, we're a little dark. Let's brighten this up just a little bit. Sorry, everyone. I know this is the boring part here. Uh, let me get this right here. And here we go. Okay, let's make the... Uh, I'm going to do this for myself. Enjoy it. And... Bump, ba da bump, bump, pa. Bump, ba da bump. Bump, ba da bump. Bump, ba da bump. Bump, ba da bump. Whoa! These are really cool instructions right here. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. We got a whole bunch of really cool packages in here. Uh, lots of hardware, like I said before. I wonder if this one's going to light up at all. Uh, we have ourselves a microfiber cloth. We have a card of uh, some kind, but this card looks really cool. Oh, it's a model number there on the, on the back. We have an empty bag, but I assume that had something in it. It probably had our multi-tool here in it. And then... We have these really awesome tools. I love these screwdrivers. Uh, this guy here is a pretty good pair of pliers. Let's go ahead and close this up. On the camera side of things, we'll close that up. Put this right about here. Put all this right about here, just like that, with the instruction booklets, and me going like this. Oh no, there's so much here. Look at everything you get. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now we're going to take a little bit of a deep dive here together into the instructions. Uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, we just did the introduction there to uh, what comes in the box, and we'll go over it together to see what comes in together. Why not? So um, I do apologize, too. I have a red filter uh, right here, so my face is really red. Um, and uh, yeah, you get to see my cool little background here. Hey, look, I got some of the uh, Moyo Store uh, insects right here, too. Look at that. That's kind of neat. Anyway, 
Let me turn my light on too, make it a little bit nicer. Make it a little more prettier. I don't know if there's another light in the uh, background. Look how cheesy that is. Anyway, <laughs> let's get this done. All righty. So if for those of you who don't know, when you go order a uh, one of these guys here, this is what you typically get. It looks like a little bit of a part guide to understand that all these bags we just took out um, have everything in it. Um, let's see here. Okay. So right away, we can see the instructions are very different, uh, again, than our typical metal models. Uh, these guys tend to um, put everything out in a way where we can see it in a 3D. Now, luckily, my mind actually, when I think about things, kind of works in a 3D way anyway. So it's a little bit easier for me to kind of get these instructions. Um, but I have read people's feedback on here before saying that uh, these guys can be a little bit complicated. And I, and I can understand where you're coming from on that. Um, not everyone can kind of picture that in 3D. Um, Okay, let me just do this here. Now, what we get here in all these different bags, and I'm probably only gonna stream for an hour because actually organizing all this stuff takes a lot longer than actually building the model itself. Uh, let's just take uh, this guy here. That's not a complaint, it's just, uh, just a fact of life. It's like one of those drill paintings. You spend a lot more time organizing all those drills into actual spots than you do placing them on the different spots. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and start opening up some of these guys here and use my handy dandy screwdrivers that came in the package. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to ask away. Do this here. Alrighty. We got our first package out. Let's take a look what we got in here. Some of this hardware is uh, it's pretty cool. It's always really interesting to see what they actually used in these packages. I'm really sorry for the shaky cam. I'll stop, I'll stop trying to touch the table so much. Um, it's really interesting to see what actually comes in these, uh, little, little bags. Like this is, looks like a, oh, what is this? Oh man. I usually, uh, you ever play that game where you try to guess the measurement? It's kind of the same thing here, but you try to guess where you've seen this part. It looks like it, it honestly looks like a piece of a window. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm kidding. Anyway, uh, here we go. We have some of these little guys here too, these uh, little tiny ones. We have a lot of these. Now these, I'll be honest with you, um, are a big pain in the butt because what we're gonna have to do eventually is we're gonna take these pliers here and we're gonna go ahead and just take them out of this um, packing plastic. They are wrapped in a grease. Uh, it's probably just like a machine grease. Uh, just know that when you're handling them the first time, if you don't wanna get your hands covered in machine grease, see how glistening my glove is there? Um, they do come in grease. Anyway. Um, got some of the little hinges here, good little, or little brackets. I'm just going to try to quickly go through this. I won't go through, I'll show you everything that I have here, but I will go and show you some of the hardware that we're going to be working with. That looks cool. Okay. That's a little coax end, right? See a little coax, right? Speaker end. That's neat. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ah, look at that. Is that a switch? No. Uh, interesting. What do you think that is? It almost looks like the end of like one of those keychains that has like a little uh, a little swivel on the end. Oh, like those little mag lights. Anyway, um, these guys are nice and heavy. That feels that feels nice and heavy. What else we got here? Um, hey everyone, just tuning in. Hope you're having a good evening. Yes, we are in the comfy clothes today. Um, thought I figured I would take it down on our little uh, little Monday here. Some more smaller parts. I'm just trying to see what we got here in the bag, trying to figure out what we got, see what we have. You know, last time what I did, and it was actually, uh, it was actually my girlfriend's idea. Um, we took all these parts and we laid them out inside of these, um, we went to the dollar store and we bought these like little plastic part bins. I'm probably gonna reuse those because there's so many pieces here. Now, I do think that there's actually less pieces in the bowl than there, oh, I'm, I'm touching the table again, sorry. Um, there's more pieces, I think, in the uh, anglerfish than there was in the bull. Could be wrong. And uh, before I get too far into this, let me just say, I gotta say thank you to the Moyo store for sending me this stuff. 
you know, it's, it's really cool that uh, they come on to support the smaller channels like myself. And um, I mean, there's a lot of big channels out there that I'm sure would uh, love to take a look at some of this stuff. And the fact that they reach out to me is, is kind of neat. And um, I really appreciate the cool, the cool stuff too. I mean, so f honestly, like that's why the uh, angler fish was on my was on my one of my favorite builds. And that that video, I wish I would have done a little bit better of a job on. Um, but that was such a good build. Like it, it, it's one of those builds that anyone comes into my uh, anyone that comes into my area here. Uh, that's one of the first things I look at, and um, I'm also, that's actually one of the first builds when people ask what I do. Um, uh, that's one of the first things I show them, because those pictures were kind of neat. I like those ones. There's certain pictures I take that I get kind of proud of, and, and those ones were, those were kind of cool. Excuse me. I'm just drinking some uh, Odecchio coffee here. It's pretty good stuff. Got my Godzilla back there in the background. Another really cool model, but that one was like a paper model. Um, not as good as this one here. I know I'm talking about everything. Um, I'm just really trying to see what we have here. This is just so much stuff. Um, I might organize for the first couple of pages just like this. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to do this for like about an hour, I think. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll uh, break and then I'll, I'll do something different here and kind of organize everything out. Maybe do another live stream a little bit later this week where I'm actually putting things into more pieces. Although I tend to work pretty late at night sometimes, so... We'll see how this goes. These are really cool pieces. These guys are little brackets. Kind of awesome. We have uh, some translucent tubing. This will be a very, you know, I've looked at this build a couple of times and maybe I should look a little bit closer because I don't remember seeing any of that tubing on there before. It probably goes in the leg and uh, in and around the area there. Oh, we're losing, we're losing our nuts. Well, this looks like Yep, it's an S2 nut. Okay, well, our S2 nuts are broken. Those S2 nuts. Let's see here. We got some really cool steampunk stuff too. Like these are all like the uh, steampunky kind of like pieces and parts that kind of come with this build. That's what they look like here. I'm gonna make it rain hardware. Whoa! Anyway, we got some springs. Uh, what else we got here? We got some more of these little pieces here. These guys last time were a little bit finicky because of how, uh, oh, I'm shaking the table again because of how, uh, thin they are, but they're not, they're not bad overall. And okay. So we got a good idea of, of what kind of pieces we're dealing with, I think now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first couple of pieces. Let's do that together. So uh, our first piece that we're going to be assembling here, it looks like we're going to be assembling the front legs first of our model. Um, then we will move on to some spring assemblies. Looks like, again, these are still part of the legs. And you can actually see that little, um, let me see if I can show you that there, the little audio piece that we found earlier. That's where that actually goes. Kind of cool. And um, let's see here. Yeah, then we start working on to our body. Now, we're not going to get this far today, probably, guys. I'll be really frank with you on that. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. This is pretty freaking intense, man. These these springs might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Now, this is a preemptive thing. I'm just looking at this now. But, uh, woo! Um, the last thing we work on is the butt. So that's that's a thing. Okay, so now knowing that, we can kind of, we took an overview of the instructions, which I always recommend doing before you get started to kind of get the understanding of where you're going, get the vibe, get the groove, and uh, let's go ahead and organize these a little bit better. The first thing we are looking for is the M2, M2 nuts, yeah. So let me look through this craziness. Let's actually start organize these, organizing these things uh, based on number, or sorry, letter. Let me take one more big uh, sip of this. There we go. Okay, we got our C series here. We got C's. I know, guys, this is kind of the boring part of this. I, I do apologize. I do apologize. Let's see here. M. We're looking for M2s. 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 And now you see why I don't record all the time, all the stuff. I don't post everything because this stuff is the is the boring stuff. M2s. Okay, we got our M2.5s, which is this bag over here. Um, 
I'm going to put those over here. I think M2.5 is different from M2. Is that correct? Let's look together. What do you see? Mm, well, I am probably overlooking it a thousand times over. J, Q, W. Here we go. M2. M2 and... Yeah, so there is a difference between the two of them, like I thought. So we do need to locate those. In the future, I think when I'm going to attempt to build these builds, what I'll do is actually organize these all ahead of time. I just kind of wanted to show a little bit of, uh, you know, me opening up the package and what you're actually going to receive. I can actually even take a little bit more of this. I'll bring you up a little closer there. Boom. That is what I am looking at. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Let's put you back over here. Thanks again for joining me on this little workbench. Let's go back over here. You know, today in Canada, it was absolutely freezing. I don't know why GB1 still has us here, but uh, we could be anywhere in space and time, and we chose this time. Um, you know, today when I was out on the job, it was actually kind of funny. When, when we were there, uh, we were using a really hot water, and we were using the hot water, the breeze that was blowing on us. I did not realize that I had stood there for 10 minutes without moving. And as soon as I moved, my entire front of my body shattered, and what I mean by that is that there was a thin coat of glass that had gathered all over the front of me because of the mist that we use. And uh, it was incredibly satisfying to have it all fall off. But at the same time, um, it was really cold. Really, really cold. Let's see here. I'm still looking for the M2s. I found the M2.5s. I see the M8s over here. I see M4s over here. Uh, you know, in the future too, if I have you guys mounted differently, what I could do is have you help me look. Let's see here, M7s, LSs, LSs. I did a lot of fun stuff back in the day with LSs. Put them in some pretty crazy places. Tiny little, little trucks they are. Uh, let's see here, more LS. Why things aren't seen? Because the labels might not be turned up. We know we're looking for nuts. M10s. And therefore, we should be able to find these pretty easily, but I am not S4s. I am not doing a good job. Uh, that's the, I guess the only negative I would say to these builds is kind of again sorting through all of the hardware when you get it. Uh, once it's built, it's absolutely fan. It's an absolutely. I'm not using that word. It's an absolutely great uh, looking build. But man, I am having a hard time finding these M2s, man. Again, we have the M2.5s, but that's going to be different than the M2s. And we know that from last time because I uh, thought that some of the other hardware was actually the same because it was labeled slightly different. It was like, you know, I couldn't find, uh, for instance, Q4s, but I found Q3 and Q, uh, you know, Q2. And they looked exactly the same, but they weren't. They had little tiny uh, details on them that prevented them from going into the place. So that was a problem. Uh... Have you guys ever found a build uh, that you had a particular problem with that you didn't realize it until after you had kind of put it all together? I know I've done that several times, especially back in the day when I was younger with Lego. Um, I was always really into Star Wars as a kid, so when I got to build any kind of Lego, actually, I actually collected all the little ships. I wish I knew where they were. And as I collected them, I hung them up in my room. So I didn't even really play with them much. But it was really cool. You came in my room and I had all these different kinds of uh, Star Wars ships flying around my room. I was definitely the cool kid at school. <laughs> Let's see here. And I mean, now I, I, I have a, you know, now I have a time machine, so I progressed. Um, I still can't find these dang M2s. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, we are looking for 
If you're just joining me, I am still looking for these M2s. We have been successful in finding the M2 point. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, uh, this is uh, my life here. See this? This is um, this is the bag that was marked M2.5. I was looking all over the table and it was because it was actually stuck to the uh, M2s. So, um, well, I guess it's the benefit of live streams. I actually missed that one there. Let me go back here. Let me see here. Whoop! I'm sorry, I missed your comment there. I was uh, looking away for a split second. I did see something about Minecraft, uh, which I... Huh. Minecraft always seems to make its way into the uh, video somewhere, somehow, right? Let's see here. Um, I actually absolutely love Minecraft, actually. It's one of my uh, all-time, I think, favorite games. I think it's a lot of people's all-time favorite games, even though they don't want to admit it. Um, I don't want to sound like one of those guys out there, but uh, I was definitely one of the people back in the day that played the alpha and uh, definitely one of those guys too that uh, like most people, you come into it for a little bit. But now that we got our M2s here, just for the record, I'm going to start uh, grabbing all of our stuff. Um, when you get into Minecraft, especially in the beginning, it's really, really fun and you kind of get lost in it and you can lose hours and hours and hours of your time into it. But then over time, you kind of lose track and you kind of go away from it. But then you come back. And the really great thing about Minecraft is, is that uh, with these different iterations, you're allowed to keep your world over time. And it's kind of neat to go back into those worlds. Um, I have thought about doing a Minecraft series, but I don't think that's really my audience. So I don't know if that would be a good idea to do. You guys can always let me know that though, if you'd be interested in seeing some kind of like, you know, Minecraft player or some kind of like that, I wouldn't mind doing that. But I feel like everyone kind of tries to evolve their channel into a gaming channel too. So one of those things. I'll do it if you're interested in it. I would love to do it, it'd be kind of fun. I have a couple of uh, people that I think would really enjoy doing a Minecraft stream of some kind. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing, so let's go back to our instructions here so you can kind of see what I'm gathering here. So right now what I'm doing is I'm preparing. Yeah, exactly. It's great until you mis uh, misplace a block and ruin your build, absolutely. It's a great game until you get absolutely lost and lose everything. Uh, so anyway, this right here is where we're at right now. Again, we're going and we're going to be building the leg portion. It looks like we are building two of the same thing all the way down. So what that means is, is that when we're gathering all our pieces to be able to build this page, we need to make sure that we're gathering two of every, um, two of every one of these, I should say, every every instruction. So if it tells us to grab, for instance, an LS22, we're going to grab two of those so that we can build both sides of the leg. Okay. Do that there. I'm gonna keep grabbing these. So M2s here, we're going on our first one. I'm gonna make little piles. I, that's what I tend to do um, is I like to make little piles here as I go. And the reason why I do that is it helps me keep organized. Let's see here, M14. M14 is these big guys here. See, I can be fast finding things. I can be, and I, uh, I haven't got these guys. So these are big guys here, M14s. Let's see here, ZP. Now watch me eat my words instantly. Um, I'm kidding. Uh, ZPs were the little washer guys that were over here. ZPs, we got our XPs. You know, if it was that easy to get XP, I think a lot more people would do it. Um, DPs, not gonna touch that one. Um, hmm, F10. Where are they? ZP, ZP, got ZPs right now. All right, so we got two ZPs this time, guys. Let's go ahead and grab these. They're two little washers. These guys right here, two little washers. Make them look nice for the camera. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh man, actually these little bags seem to be falling apart a little bit. It, uh, we had the, uh, one of our screws over here, the Z 2.5s, I think were the ones or something over here that were falling apart. And now our ZPs are just falling out too. So we're gonna have to, we're definitely gonna have to take everything apart here and put it in different trays. Um, 
Okay, now we're going to our XP, which we know is right now. Um, yes, I could look at the entire page, do an inventory of the entire page. That would actually be a pretty good way to, if you're going to build this build in segments, which I really recommend doing, kind of like we're doing now, um, you uh, you definitely want to have this in, in, in kind of a broken out period. And if you were to do this, you could sit down with a page and write out every single one of the um, of the of the things you're taking out, and then write down the amount, and then just do this once instead of doing what I'm doing right now, which is processing every single one it would be a little quicker um but again i uh i think of these things after and um, i would normally just jump to doing them but i feel like today because i've committed to this live stream today that we are going to at least hang out for an hour and you guys can see how at least the creative process goes okay so now we're going to be rocking on to uh, ls21 i'm trying to think of a fun uh storyline for this build um, I have a couple of ideas. One of my favorite artists, um, like I love electric music again, kind of a nerd. Um, so I, back in the day, I really enjoyed, well, actually it's not back in the day. I actually really like major laser, um, really cool band. And, uh, he had a series, a cartoon series, which if you haven't seen, I highly recommend checking it out. It's on YouTube. Um, it's a very interesting, uh, if you ever seen Metalocalypse, which is like the heavy metal version, I would say you definitely need to check out the Major Laser cartoon because it's like the electric version of Metalocalypse, but it's just so, it's so good. The, uh, the jokes are funny. Um, like they're really funny, actually. And there's a lot of like content in there, which is actually aged really well too, which is awesome. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the first three um, steps of parts and then I'm going to build those with you guys and then I'm probably going to stop the stream um, just because I know this isn't the most entertaining thing um, and then what we'll do is a little bit later on this week I will prepare some parts and then we can do another little live stream here with like an hour um, again I'm sorry about not really uh, kind of understanding what I was getting myself into but it also shows you a little bit that uh, I don't I try not to do too much research on the projects before I get my hands on them. And the reason why I do that is I kind of want to go in almost as blind as possible so that I can, because I build so many of these models, uh, I feel like I'm kind of experienced to the point where there's certain, certain things that don't really phase me anymore. Uh, whereas a new builder coming into this thing might, might have a really big, you know, trouble with one part that I don't have trouble with. So I'm always trying to at least put my, put some kind of block in the way to represent, or at least try to put myself into the shoes of somebody building this for the first time or building these kinds of kits for the first time. I think it's really cool though, that these kits and not just these metal earth kits, but, uh, are these, these, uh, Machine Planet kits or all these other kind of uh, stuff has really started to kind of hit the mainstream. I think that's 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 really awesome. I think a lot of people being creative is a good thing for society. Uh, okay, let's see here. Q12, 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 Q12. It's like looking for a puzzle piece right here. See, bam, I'm getting good at this. Uh, so looking for a puzzle piece. Eventually, what I would like to turn these streams into is a chance to be able to build models uh, with you at home. Um, and I mean, like, if I could, I think it'd be really neat to, like, say, make a build for the month. Like, let's say we make, like, the Golden Hind, the build of the month. And then we all meet together on the live stream and uh, we build this model together. I think it'd be kind of a cool way to uh, have a bit of a community build. Um, I'm trying to think of some way to do that. I, I know Animate Orange and I have kind of uh, talked back and forth a little bit on this. And um, we're now getting into the springs here, T1s. And uh, I think we're all just trying to figure out how to do this, you know, um, because the metal model community is such a new community. And uh, I think we're all just trying to figure out how we can best make our content um, entertaining and also get the points we want to cross uh, so people find that the videos are useful too. Pardon me, everyone. Okay, um, so now we're going to be grabbing our uh, H21s, which are right here. 
See, I'm really good at a point. It's just that first one being attached to the other one made everything a little bit more complicated. Has anyone built anything uh, really neat lately? Anyone ventured out into some more difficult builds? Trying to keep my eye on the chat here too while I'm doing this as well. I don't want to miss your chats. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna go on to. I just got all the pieces for our second uh, our second part here. So what I'm gonna do now is grab everything for our um, our third step. Um, our third step is actually really easy. It's just two S two bolts. Let's take a look at this together so I can stop. Like you know, I'll make it a little bit more entertaining for you. So we've got. Oh, stop shaking the camera. Um, so we've already gotten all this. And now stop shaking cameras. And then we go to here, uh, which we've already gotten. So now we're rocking these guys here, which is just two big bolts. Whoop. Let's get right in close, guys. So we're getting these two big bolts here, followed by this uh, little screw. So uh, another thing I've been doing this, uh, this year is I want to uh, focus on 3D printing some cool stuff. And after, uh, I have I have two things I gotta do here, guys. I got this build here, which is the Machine Planet, uh, the steel bullfight uh, bolt. Um, I got this one here. And then we're gonna be start doing, uh, we have a time, we have a, a metal time model here to do, which is the submarine, which I'm kind of excited to do with you guys. And uh, by kind of, I mean, I am super excited to do it with you guys. <laughs> and then uh, I'm hoping to get, uh, the thing is, I wanted to go the Ripley's Aquarium for to do this build because the Ripley's Aquarium has some really cool um, underground areas with the water, and I wanted to get some really neat pictures uh, with my iPhone uh, with the water so it looked like the fish were in the background and stuff. I think that would have been really cool. Uh, but unfortunately, with everything that's going on in the world, um, and I don't know the, what happens on live streams if I mention these words, so let's just avoid it together. Um, it... it it makes everything a lot more difficult. So I might have to simulate it, which is, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, as one of my closest, beautifulest friends would say. Um, let's see here. We are now looking for the LS22s, which I know are, where here, LS26s, LS17s. LS 22s, LS 22s. Uh, so some of the 3D printing projects I'm looking at doing this year, um, I have some stuff for 3D metal models. Uh, I have a tool that's gonna help everybody with coning, or sorry, with uh, cylinders um, and making, um, um, well, it's actually a cylinder tool. I would like to be able to turn it into a doming tool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, and uh, I have the concept made. I just need to 3D print it and test it a couple of times before I jump out and you know let you guys see it. Um, it's nothing revolutionary or anything, but I just think it's purpose built again, and that's that's always a positive thing. Okay, so these guys actually, yeah, the LS 22s go here, and now we need two more LS 22s. Okay, so now we need two more LS 22s, and then we need some M10 bolts. Okay, so here's the LS22s. Put those over here. And then we need some M10 bolts, guys. M10 bolts. I think it would be kind of neat to have everybody building together uh, and doing some kind of cool like group uh, build as a community. And then seeing how everyone gets theirs done and maybe doing like a photo contest at the end or something. I don't know, it would be kind of cool. I do maybe do a giveaway. That'd be actually a neat idea for the channel. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, you get to let me know in the comments down below if that's a good idea or not. Do like a building competition of some kind. I've always thought about doing that, but I don't know how you would kind of judge that because again, you would have to do a picture contest because that's the only way you would have to have some kind of creative narrative. S2s. S2s, S2s, S2s. Me being in Europe isn't the greatest, though. It's 20... Oh, man! Buddy! Okay, so you're a late-night guy like myself. Sorry for shaking the camera. 
You're a late night guy like myself. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I tend to stay up pretty late myself and, and do these kinds of builds. Um, I appreciate you joining me here, buddy, but uh, don't don't feel like you got to stay. If you want to go to bed, you know, go to bed. You know, take yourself. Take good care of yourself. Okay, so these are M10s, M10s, and S2s. S2s. Here we go again. S2. All right. These guys are a little bit smaller. I'm actually going to keep these guys by hand here. Uh, it's just so we can um, grab them again because i got a feeling we're going to be needing them again. And we do. Look at that. So now we're on step four here just so you can understand where we're at. This is step four. This is right here. And uh, we're going to be grabbing just some of these guys here. I'm going to grab these and then we're going to put them all together. And I will uh, change the camera position a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing when it comes to putting this all together. I also want to see if I can get a better angle in the future too so I can read the chat um, in case I, uh, I feel like I'm going to miss it every once in a while if I glance away. Watermelon. Hey, Lego Reviews. Nice to see you, buddy. Really nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry I didn't win the the uh, the contest there, man, but I really appreciate uh, you entering. It was a that was a fun little race we did. I hope you guys liked that too. I hope you enjoyed the race. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. LS twenty twos again. Where are they at? I said I was putting them near me, and LS twenty twos. Where are you at? Right here. I'm gonna have to drink my coffee here in a moment again, boys. And girls, builders, boom, boom, LS22s. Oh, I missed another one. Damn it. Uh, oh, shouldn't say that, I guess. Uh, let me just do these things here. How to go back. All message visible, live chat. Yes, but I can't go back. Dang it. I'm sorry. I missed that, buddy. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'll keep my eye. I will keep my third eye officially on the uh, the live chat. A little, oh, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, oh, thank you, buddy, I, I, yes. I have broken a model, actually. Um, so the first model that I ever built was the uh, Normandy, and uh, I'm a huge Mass Effect fan, one of my favorite series of all times. Again, I, I know I've talked about being a gamer a very little bit on the channel, but I love Mass Effect. And it seems like a great way to engage with the community. Conversation, though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't be able to participate, but I think everyone could be. I think everyone would have a really cool time, kind of building something like uh, doing a kind of cool contest. Um, but anyway, um, my Normandy. I actually, when I put that together, the back. It was my first ever build I did. I, I crumpled it and I broke it. Uh, it really is actually horrible. And I was going to do a video on my first model ever, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but yeah, it's still in my case over here. Uh, maybe I'll show it out a little bit out there. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate you loving the content. That's uh, that's always uh, that's always warming to the heart. Um, I really do appreciate that. It really does mean a lot to me when you guys say that kind of stuff. Um, M7. I'm actually uh, working on doing some tool casting as well. A lot of people have asked me over the years uh, where I got my uh, my doming tools. And uh, do you normally put music on when you build models or do you prefer building in silence? I prefer building with music. I am a huge fan of building with music. I typically do have music when I'm playing. Um, even in my live stream here, I wanted to have music here today. But I'm, I got some weird... Um, weird uh reports on my youtube channel last time i played music even though it was copyright free um so i gotta figure this out i actually pay for a subscription as well uh for a copyright free service that's where most of my music comes from and uh so i'm thinking that maybe i put a playlist together from there and then i play that playlist on the live so that it's not as dead silent as as you hear today um because i i I've, I'm, I'm, big, I'm a big fan of following disney and how they do their whole like you don't want silence in their parks 
um, because it's really creepy. It's the same thing when I'm doing a stream. Uh, that moment of silence can be filled with that little bit of that music. Um, but again, major laser electric music. I actually got permission to use um, Little Stranger. They're a, a small band from LA. Um, they actually have this uh, really cool live performance on what's called, um, oh, what's it called? Sugar Shack Sessions. And they're really, really good. I, uh, I love them. And they gave me permission to use their music in my videos, which that's pretty cool, right? To be a fan, reach out to them and they go, hey, we reviewed your channel. Yeah, use our music. No, pretty cool. At least I, I felt it was, I felt it was cool. <laughs> Uh, H21s. Where are my H21s at? H21s. H21s. H5s. Sorry, everyone here. We're almost ready to get going. Um, the only reason why I decided to go a little bit further was because the, uh, the one here, the one step is actually combining uh, previous steps. So it's only like one bolt. It, it would be a waste of time for even me to, to rock the camera there. Um, okay. So we actually need H2s. So we'll grab these guys. These are the big hunkin' ones here. Um, oh, getting back to the casting. So uh, people have been asking me about my rounding. Well, thanks. Uh, I have a um, I have some rounding tools, uh, my 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 dapping set, and no one can find them. So what I've been trying to do is figure out a way how to duplicate mine. I've been trying to do casting, or I've been trying to learn how to do casting. I've went to YouTube University. I've watched some really cool people do it. Um, you know, I think I'm almost ready for the big leagues on the molding front. And if I can produce some good molds, then my plan would be to kind of cast my tools and then be able to replicate them and possibly give them out to you guys. And I would want to keep everything under 20 bucks. That's the plan. Like I, I really want all of my tools that I build to be able to sell. I want them to be cheaper than a typical metal earth model. Why would you buy a tool that's worth more than the model? bizarre to me. Um, so I want to try to keep them as low as possible. And that's why they're 3D printed because 3D printing allows me to keep that cost on the low end. Um, casting things too. That's a, that's a good way of doing that. Um, I'm still looking for H21s, but I found the other ones in the meantime. So let's go back to this. Let's get the, uh, the brain cooking on finding why things are seen. We're looking for a bend with a hole and a small one. H story of my life. Uh, H21. H21, H21, where did I put you? I know you're here. H21, paging H21. LS21. Let me see here, taking another look at the uh, screen every once periodically there. Oh, sounds great. Personally, I think good tool is worth the investment and I completely agree. Um, oh, what's his name? 3D metal model tools. That guy is an awesome dude. Um, he, I, I'm forgetting his name at the moment and you're gonna forgive me. I'm so sorry, buddy, I really am. Um, he's a really good dude. He, uh, you know, me and him had a chat uh, when he first started his YouTube channel. And, um, you know, he was really into the hobby. He's still into the hobby. He actually makes pens uh, full time and uh, for Bic, which is pretty freaking cool. And um, so he has a lathe and he has the ability to make these really awesome precision tools. And he has a set there um, that is really neat. Sorry, I need to keep looking. Ah, <laughs> it was there the entire time. You guys could have told me. It was right on, right on camera just sitting there like that. I love you too. Um, but uh, he makes some really cool tools. And uh, I would recommend checking those out if you like precision tools. Um, he also has different class of tools on there. He has both the um, uh, entry level tools and the more expensive ones. Um, my only thing is when it comes to buying more expensive tools is that you have to make sure they're worth it. A good set of tweezers, absolutely worth it. Good set of pliers, worth it. Good set of you know uh, wrenches, worth it. Uh, where things start to kind of lose that though is when you're doing like, um, Oh Lord, I'm trying to think here. Um, 
I would say a hammer, but that's even not even right because you know stiletto hammers are freaking amazing. So I mean, you can't even compare the two hammers. But not all tools are okay. Nippers, nippers would be a good example. Um, you're, you know, you're rather you're buying a really expensive pair of nippers or you're buying a really cheap pair of nippers. Um, in my experience, they tend to wear out in and around the same. You will get better cuts on the more expensive pair, and you gotta be careful with the more expensive pair because you actually run the risk of um, the tool damaging itself. Some of them have a little bit of a gauge on it that you can uh, adjust the tolerance on. That's how how crazy cool those are. And um, I thought about picking up a pair of that. I just don't want people to. Uh, I, I, again, I want people to jump into the channel and think that they can uh, that they can they can pick up what they're doing here and say, yeah, I can go grab those tools from my uh, my garage and build this stuff. I got this. And that's why I think uh, I'm going to build some stuff with just some things around the house, like some spoons and things. And I, I keep saying spoons, but honestly, the spoon is probably one of the most underrated uh, metal model tools. Um, out there. Okay, we got all our parts. Um, I'm blabbing on and I need S2s. S2s and we're good to go on the actual building front, guys. We're actually able to uh, get a couple of parts here and we got 45 minutes to the hour. Um, so let's go and find these. Um, uh, is it S2s again? Yes. Now the S2s were the silly ones and there they are. Found them. Okay, dokie. Now that we got these S2s here, what I am going to do is I'm going to take all of these parts and place them back into the tool chest. And then I'm going to turn on the big camera and we're going to build these first couple of steps together. So as I do that, if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to, uh, uh, you know, anything at all, please just uh, feel free to put it in. I'll be more than glad to answer it. Two, two. Wow, there's a lot of pieces here and there's a lot of cool, look at these springs. That's kind of neat, right? Anyway, I'll be fast about this because I will go through this later off camera and organize this. Whoa, whoa, that was fun. Will this stream be available on demand too? Uh, yeah, I plan to do that. I plan to put all my streams uh, on, on there. And, uh, oh look, I even got my first bot. That's cool. Um, yeah, I definitely um, I definitely will put these on the stream later. I plan to do that with all of my uh, live streams uh, that I'm gonna do in the future. I'm gonna try to, nope, I'm gonna try to do one as I go in the future. Um, it'll allow me to do more uh, for all my bills. Is the middle of a good beginning area? I think I got that. I was trying to read and do that at the same time. So um, if you could ask that again, I would really appreciate it. Just so I got the right question in there. I'm sorry, buddy. Do. Trying to keep my eye on the camera too. I'm trying not to shake everything as well. It's one of those things. Um, I think what I got from what I kind of read there is if you were asking if um, Metal Earth is a good, like what Metal Earth models would be good starting place, I think I saw. I'm not too entirely sure. Um, if that's correct, I can do that real quickly. That's actually very easy. Um, for me, I recommend immediately any of the architectural models to anyone out there that is currently not into Metal Earth or if uh, they are looking to get into like these kinds of puzzles, that's the kind of ones I typically recommend uh, people go to. And the reason why I say that is because they're easy and everyone recognizes them. Um, then uh, if they're kind of on the nerdy side, uh, if they like movies and stuff, that's when I would start suggesting like, you know, the Star Wars models. And in those cases, I would suggest R2-D2 and I would also suggest the Millennium Falcon. The reason why these two builds, um, well, they're both great starting builds. Great question. Electric screwdriver for these Moyo builds. No, um, I use these guys. Uh, is the Metal Earth model good for a beginner in the metal model? Is a Metal Earth model good for the metal model? For metal mo is a Metal Earth model good for metal model making? So the experience of having Metal Earth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna interpret this the way I interpret it, and I hope I do an okay job. Um, 
having experience with Metal Earth models and then coming, I keep doing that. Uh, having experience with Metal Earth models and then coming into this makes building these models a lot easier. Yes, 100%. Um, they are significantly different though, guys. They are very different, uh, very different builds. And uh, this coffee was poured over an hour ago and I'm at the tail end of it. Let me just give it a nice little, uh, little bit here. Alrighty, now we're good to go. Um, now I said I was going to switch up the uh, camera angle here. Um, so let me see what I can do about this here. Bring it down here with me. Aw. Hi guys. Um, yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is kind of do one of these things right here. I hope this is okay. I'm, I do apologize for the background. It's not the most beautiful of backgrounds, but together we're going to create something pretty cool. And uh, what I'm going to try to do again in the future is kind of work on a better camera angle, better camera system. And um, I'm just um, in my room here. It's the way I have this all set up is uh, kind of awkward for me to kind of do these kinds of things. So um, I think I might just have to, in the future, I'm going to be moving. And when I move, I'm going to probably set this all up completely differently and hopefully have somewhat of a full-fledged TARDIS. Don't tell my girlfriend that, though. She might get a little upset. You know, you never want to convert the living room without... Oh, you never want to tell them you're going to convert the living room into a time machine until you convert the time machine living room thing, and then you can take them somewhere cool. Um, so, cool. Let's get started. Starting off with our lovely little screwdrivers here. I love these screwdrivers. Gunner models, I believe I build the Big Ben first and it was quite easy. Yeah, absolutely, Big Ben, great model. Actually, I have it up here. Um, yeah, it's right next to my uh, TARDIS actually in the background on my latest video, you can see that. Um, great, great build, great build, great starter build. And uh, I'm glad you're still building. I'm glad you stuck around with the uh, with the hobby. It's fun. Shoot a monkey. I forgot a piece right on the first one. I would stay longer, but I have school in the morning. Keep up the good work and have a good night. Yeah, you too, buddy. Have a great day at school tomorrow. And uh, yeah, like uh, like everyone else, I hope you're at least going to school, and not doing the at home learning. Good night, bud. I gotta go back to here. Sorry, everyone, real quickly. And the first thing we got, I have to find um, W twenties. I, I guess I overlooked these ones somehow. I don't know how I did that, but um, you're gonna be like, hey, disorderly cone. Uh, you keep promising this build. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen today, buddy. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, okay, W20s, 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 W20s. W20s, W20s. Get these guys out. I'm usually way better at this. I almost want to play minute to win it. Actually, let's. Uh, are you sure your girlfriend is not watching this live stream? Uh, she probably is, um, and I'll probably hear something about that a little bit later. You know, like I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's cool to have someone that supports uh, supports me like that, though. I gotta say, I actually don't always know because uh, she does work, so um, she might not be actually in the live stream. I think she was earlier. I gotta say though, um, just for the record, you gotta think about the stuff that I deal uh, do on a daily, on a weekly basis. Like uh, I'm filming some things, and uh, oftentimes my production involves me talking to myself uh, in a green screen for a period of time. So, and when I'm coming up with the ideas, oftentimes I'll be in mid conversation with either her or with someone else and I'll get an idea for a video or something silly, stupid, like some kind of joke. And then um, she has to sit there and just deal with it. So I, I <laughs> like, I, I love her to death. <laughs> Does she allow you to put the models all over the house or only in the building room? Actually, you know what? Uh, with, uh, she, you know, we've only been, uh, we've only been dating, I think now, uh, uh, for about eight months. So she actually got to know me, uh, after I started this hobby. So she came in and saw everything and she stayed. So is that a good sign? I think so. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for to put my craziness, you gotta be special. Okay. So let me show you what I'm going to do here first guys. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, let me just show you like this. Um, so the first step is just combining these bolts here to make one big long assembly. And then we're going to build these two guys. From these two guys, we'll then add them together, creating this little guy here. 
Yes, I agree. This is a keeper. I, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All righty. Um, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Let's get to building. Now, it looks like this one here gets inserted through the center. So what we're going to do is grab the small little guy, uh, the small screw here. Then we're going to grab our small washer. The washer. This is XP. Okay. And again, I'm sorry, I'm not doing... Oh, -hoo -hoo. look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What did Disorderly Cone do, guys? What did Disorderly Cone do? He forgot to record up there. That's right. Double camera guy. Let's do this real quickly. Why did I do this to myself? All right, here we go. And three, two, and one. All of our parts lined up and ready. Now we can build them. Just make sure that my shiny head isn't on camera. I don't know if anyone noticed that uh, last time around, but uh, I had a date tonight. Went great, but didn't tell the models yet. We'll save it for next time. You know, um, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. You know, wait, wait for the... Wait for the grand reveal when they come over. <laughs> this is my living room. This is my kitchen. And this is my museum, curated and polished. Do you like the Titanic? <laughs> oh, excellent. Um, I just got an email uh, from our one of my uh, people that ordered a Bender 1.0 tool. I had a return to sender and she got it. I am so happy. I am so happy. I haven't had a major issue with, uh, with shipping yet. Um, it is something that I'm running into every once in a while. Um, Canada is a little bit weird. Okay, so here's a little bit of thing I'm running into right now. So I'm actually trying to get this little bolt in here. Um, I have to get this little tiny nut that you can see in my hand, and I got to put that nut into here. Now, how can I do that? Well, they do give me a little bit of a, um, a tool to assist me with this, but that tool I don't think in this particular case is going to be that useful. So instead, I'm going to grab this nut like these. And I know you guys can't see that well, but on my top view camera, it looks fantastic. Oh, I used the I used the dreaded F word again. I can't use that word. If you watched my video um, of the most uh, models or the best models of 2021, I used that word way too much, and I didn't realize it until I was done editing. And I, uh, yeah, I told myself I'm not allowed to say that word anymore. My uh, F word privileges have been revoked. So we got one down, and the way I got that done was by using my finger as a friction uh, friction point. Okay, I gotta be careful because I'm gonna be like talking to the camera. It's gonna be when you guys see this, there's gonna be some weird uh, some weird angles, and you're gonna be like, hmm, I know what was happening there. But I think between the live stream and the actual posting of this video, I think everyone will get the content they need. Uh, or the help they need when building this. Oh boy, the Georgia game is going on and it sounds like Georgia just did something good. That's another reason why I wanted to do this in an hour. There's a Georgia football game going on and that's my home state, so. American living in Canada, Southern boy living in Canada and freezing my butt off. Don't get me wrong, I love Canada. Okay, getting this guy down here again. Same method as before, just providing a little bit of friction on that bolt. And now I've tightened it to our little, our little stand there. So now we got two little assemblies. Oh, what did I do, guys? What did I do? What did I do? Can you see what I did? Ah, uh, one of these things is not like the other. I think also, too, a fun thing this year is going to be getting used to doing live streams with everyone here. And uh, also recording at the same time, getting that whole... That whole feel down is going to be, I think, a little bit of a learning curve. Um, okay, so we got our this guy here. We got the thick piece here. See, I make mistakes too. I am not a perfect individual. Far from it. 
I know that my gingery good looks kind of bring that out, but not perfect, not perfect. Kidoki. Hey, I said gingery good looks and then everyone backed out. Yes, thanks, Mike. <laughs> yep. Well, that didn't work. Let's do that again. Do this like this. I love that uh, we're doing this together. Yeah, definitely in the future, I'm going to make sure that I have all these parts done, uh, uh, you know, out in the future so that when we're building, we're actually doing some build time and not uh, taking some part time in. That's why I think, too, uh, when it comes to doing um, building live uh, Metal Earth builds, one of the worst things is cutting out all the pieces. It's one of the most boring parts of the entire build. No one comes on to watch you take parts out. And um, that's kind of the reason why I've stayed away from doing live streams with them is because they're not really entertaining to watch Metal Earth get built live unless you make it entertaining. Which, uh, I think I need to get the better at. Dang it, man. I am not having success putting that nut there. Let me see if I can get a better hold by doing these. Okay, I got a little bit of a better one there. Let's try that again. This is not easy. Right off the bat, we're already getting complicated issues here. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, stop fooling around with the bigger size here and get down to the smaller size. There we go. You know, sometimes people, it's just using the right tools. Just using the right tools. Okay, there we go. Boom. Booyakasha. There we go. Make sure those are nice and tight. I want to make sure that they're nice and tight so I don't have too much of a pivot going on. Alrighty, cool. So no, use pliers to clamp down M2, which is what we did. Okay, so in this case here, the instructions, um, again, this is me not looking at the instructions close enough. If you look here, um, the instructions actually tell you uh, to hold, I'm gonna to try to back that up a little bit. They tell you to actually hold the nut in place with pliers and then use your screwdriver um, to connect the parts. That would have been an easier way for me to uh, connect that. I kind of did the same thing though with the way that I did it. Um, okay, let's quick progress to the next piece here. We're going to be doing the uh, leg assembly. In this case here, we need to grab this bolt. Um, then we need a arrow. Then we need a spring, which it looks like it's this part of the spring. Um, do not fully tighten S2 and then tighten it after step three has been complete. Okay, we'll do that. Um, now I'm trying to determine if these are on the inside or on the outside. They are on the inside. And the way we can tell that is because of how the arrow is detailed. And I'll show you guys what I was determining there in a moment. Okay, now I'm just kind of leveling it out like that. And then we're gonna go to this other side here. And ah, have a good night. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate you tuning in with me and having a good time. Stay safe, have a great day tomorrow. I'm actually gonna say this is gonna go on the other side. That's a great question. Um, you know, I actually haven't built a uh, Gundam model. Actually, that's not true. I built a mini Gundam model once. Um, I don't know if that counts, but I did build a mini Gundam model. Uh, my son got one and he wanted me to try. He was really into mech suits at the time. And um, I, I, I have never built one per se in that way, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I have built some other plastic models. Um, there's just a lot of YouTubers out there that kind of do that already. 
Um, so I, if you guys are always interested in seeing something like that though, I have no problem taking a look at those. I just don't know which ones to take a look at. That's my, uh, my biggest problem. There's so many of them out there. And I hate looking like a poser, like going into a fandom and not really knowing anything about it. I feel, I feel kind of bad, you know. One thing I really wanted to do too is do more airbrushing. Um, I've been playing with my airbrush over the last year and uh, I really wanted to do more of that. Oh, I forgot a piece here. We gotta actually put the H2 in the middle. So what we're gonna do, I am really having a hard time with this. So we actually gotta take this H2 here and then we gotta take this center, the H2, is broken down like this. That little center piece there is where we're gonna place the uh, place this nut here. I can't believe I almost, I've had to take this apart like twice now. There we go. Cool. And now we can put this on here like this and then we can Put this the spring on, followed by the arm, the watch arm, facing down, and then we have that guy done. Now it's not to tighten it all the way, like I said, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a little bit of a hand tight thing here. Actually, we're gonna do this just like this. I said I was only gonna do an hour. Here we are though, and that's okay. So this right here is the assembly that we have built so far. There are many like it, but this one is mine. It's very pretty. And uh, what I realized is I actually got enough pieces for the other ones to continue on. But actually, what I need to do here is, like I said, I actually need to take a bit of a break and uh, go downstairs and celebrate with a bit of a family here. I do apologize, guys, that I didn't do a uh, better job of thinking about how to, um, how to manage this time a little bit better in this particular stream. But what I'll do in the future is I will make sure, especially when I come back and do this tomorrow, because I'm definitely going to do another stream tomorrow. Um, what I'll do is I'll have all these pieces out and then I'll do another hour of building tomorrow with you guys. And uh, that way we can do straight building as opposed to me sitting here kind of guessing uh, where all the pieces are and, and how they work. Start with the plastic models uh, by Bandier. Okay, okay. Um, I've seen some of the Star Wars ones. Actually, I think it was by them. Uh, there's a metal, uh, there's a model store not too far away from my home, and uh, they have some pretty cool stuff there. And uh, I think they had a TIE fighter, uh, X Wing, and it's very, I think it's a black package. It's like very detailed. It very much reminds me of the old school, like uh, VHS box art um, from the original series. Um, I will definitely take a look at them. Yeah, for sure. So you, you say the, uh, the Star Wars, the Star Wars ones in particular, eh? Um, any recommendation? Like any, would you say like a TIE fighter, like Millennium Falcon, X-Wing, um, battle, anyone in particular? I know, the, I know the latency on this, so. Paper models. I have tried a paper model and I failed and I did not post the video and it was a very sad day. <laughs> TIE Fighter or X-Wing? Okay, 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 I like that. You know, I'll take a look at it, I'll take a look at it. I actually ordered some uh, really neat models from AliExpress, um, and my plan is to build those um, when they come in. I have, um, I have a building, I have a really cool astronaut thing to build here as well, you guys know I love space, um, so I have some of those. And uh, yeah, I have a couple of Lego builds too. I actually want to talk to Wood Trick, uh, which is the company that made the, uh, which made this like little assault rifle here. Okie dokie. Which made these guys. And this is a really cool build. 
Um, and I really want to build more from these guys because they have some pretty cool, if you ever get a chance, check out the uh, Wood Trick brand. They're neat. Uh, TIE Fighter is probably the easiest just because there's only two colors. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're, you're right. There's only two colors to that for the most part. I know I've seen some guys do some pretty good uh, airbrushing on them and made some really cool like battle wounds and stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind trying to do that, but I would build it first, show you how to build it, and then uh, go from go from there. Yeah, right, because of the flat panels and things on the side. I think that's a good idea, too. I think that's a great idea. I, 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 I will take a look at that, eh? I, I will take a look at it and see what I find. And uh, if it's a good one, then... Um, I don't know if it's a good one. If it's uh, if I can find it at a good price, I'll definitely grab it. That'd be that'd be that'd be a cool build. That'd be a cool one. There's a couple other ones too. Like there's a couple of the plastic and wood mills I've seen. Uh, there's a couple of people out in the Facebook group there that have been posting that recently, and uh, I thought that was kind of neat. Some of those. Um, the one gentleman there, and I'm forgetting his name. Um, he's uh, he posts he posts quite a bit there. He uh, in the one Facebook group, and he does a good job of uh, of his builds. Fantastic builder, actually. He does a I said the F word. I'm not allowed to say the F word. Um, he does great building. I need to look up a I need to get a thesaurus and start like, just going through the going through them all. Um, but he does a really good job on his builds. He really does, and uh, he does wood models too. And he has these wooden plastic ones. He did a roadster comparison the other day, and. Uh, those plastic wooden ones look really cool. Um, the acrylic, sorry, the acrylic wood builds. Um, yeah, I, I would be interesting to see where these kind of all go and where they're evolving to. I, with the with the time for machine kind of doing the whole uh, remote control stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing that more in wooden models too. Um, I also think that the watch from time for machine is something that's going to spread like wildfire. Like I think that's a great. I think that is such a great idea. Like time for machine on that one was, was fan. Again, I almost said it. I almost said it. Uh, but, uh, uh, they, uh, they have some great ideas. Um, metal time too, just like with the unconventional idea of making like the, um, the metal models, like the, the coffee stuff, like that's pretty cool. Um, Again, these are typical things you don't really see from the metal model community, for them to make a working watch, for them to make a coffee maker, these everyday things that we're doing. I think these are all little cool things. But anyway, guys, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say good night. And I hope you guys had a good time in the stream. I thank you all for hanging out with me. And uh, if you're tuning in afterwards, I thank you for joining in with me and participating and watching the stream. If you have the whole thing, if you enjoy yourself, uh, try to press that like button there. If you're new to the stream, uh, press subscribe as well. We're going to be definitely doing some more cooler stuff in the future when it comes to these live streams. And I hope that when we look back on these live streams, we look back on the original, like, uh, blah. let me say that again. Um, when we look back on these original live streams, hopefully in a year from now, I hope that I can see how far that I've grown, much like I look back on my first episodes of Group Builders uh, way back when, uh, five years ago when I first started that. When I look at those videos and I look at where I am now and I look at how I'm doing things, I, I look back and I say, I, I see growth. And that's one of the coolest things you can see. Uh, it's almost like kind of documenting your life in a way where you can see like where you were at a point and you can see how, how you were and what you were doing. And then to go to where you are now and to see how the production is, I, it's just, it's really cool. And uh, um, I think that's something that uh, I've taken a lot from by going back and watching. So if, I, if there's any kind of improvement from what we've seen from there to here, I really hope that these live streams go better. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great night. And uh, thanks again for joining me. And until next time, keep building. Now, uh, here's the awkward part where we just stare at each other and I try to figure out the uh, controls again. So I think I clicked this button. No. I click this button. <laughs> nope. Let's try the three button thing down here. There we go. No, that's not it. Um, oh, the X, there we go, is the X button.